This video is brought to you by my merch store. Want a cool looking t-shirt, a sticker or even a mug? Well, check out my merch store. Link for that down below. Ta -da -ta, it's time for some hotcakes. And so the January update for Elite Dangerous has come out. For a lot of people, perhaps this update will be just nothing much. But uh, when you actually think of the timeline, well, it's a bit more than just a simple small update. So let's take a look at the timeline. Skip a few months back and community was very upset with the September update for Elite Dangerous where the game basically was crashed completely. Well, okay, maybe not exactly completely, but well, it had a lot of issues, let's just be honest. And that sparked quite a bit of outrage, and not only from yours truly. It was so much that people came together to ask developers to actually reevaluate a couple of things and make sure that the future updates would feature quality assurance and many more things, including public betas, which we got eventually. So developers in their infinite wisdom saw that, oh, hey, community is asking us to stop developing things and fix our stuff. What a novel concept. Okay, let's delay fleet carriers, yeah. And they did. Now, first things first, ever since I started making videos for Elite Dangerous, I always asked for more quality of life improvements, and of course fixes to improve the game rather than new stuff, more new stuff. No, I rather prefer a stable game that has stuff in it that works, you know. So then the main question is, is the January update exactly what the community asked for? Well, I can tell you that the forum dads didn't definitely want to see the fleet carriers being postponed again, and I'll return to that topic in just a bit, but let's take a quick look at what we got. So after looking at the patch notes, there's a modest size of fixes, and yeah, sure, I guess there are some fixes, sure... But really, there are only about three, maybe four things that uh, well, are the biggest stars of the update. So the first one is just a couple of new changes to the BGS, adding a few states, and um, I care about that very much. Mm -hmm. Second one's about Dolphin's heat changes that does things. I mean, I mean, seriously, is the Dolphin really the ship that needs the most love? I mean, seriously, the Asp Scout, maybe? But whatever, what do I know of ships, right? Anyways, next one's about collector limpets and the big chunky rocks. Not damaging your ship anymore. Now, for example, let's say if you're, oh, I don't know, me, you can argue that that should have been in the first place already the default state, rather than a positive quality of life improvement. You know, when you go mining and you break off some part of the rock and you try to get it in your ship with collector limpets, it shouldn't have damaged you in the first place, but, you know, I guess it has teething issues. Literally! So by modern parenting standards, I guess you deserve a medal. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the next thing that is actually a positive and a new one is the ability to quote-unquote rescue your NPC pilots. Basically, after you die in the rebuy screen, you're gonna be able to <coughs> rebuy your NPC pilot as well. And I think it cost around 2 million for Elite, so... Yay! And finally, the probably most impactful thing for all of us, as a matter of fact, is the changes to the market that will affect the mineable commodities like void opals and whatnot else. Essentially, you will still be able to find places where to sell these things for high prices, but there will be less of them. And frankly, it will take a little bit of time to see how it actually works and whether or not it completely crashes the market, but for now, yeah, it looks like it will be a nerf which, I don't know if it's good or bad, honestly. It's bad because, yeah, we can't get money, and yet it's good because technically it puts these things more in line with the rest of the game's credit earning things. Oh, God. It's basically grind. The fact that the whole game's economy is garbage and completely unbalanced is uh, another topic for another day, I suppose. So let's get move on to the fleet carriers. So then, the December update that should have come with the fleet carriers is postponed because we asked for changes, or rather developers saw a way out. No, as, uh, that, that's it. They basically saw us asking for changes, and they decided, oh, we have a free unsanctioned chance to just simply postpone everything that we're working on, and maybe develop it? I don't know. <sighs> okay, well, the point is, fleet carriers were announced in 2017 during Frontier Expo on October 7th. How do I remember that date? Well, there are a couple of reasons, but regardless, it has been more than two years in development. 
But okay, let's give developers a little bit more benefit of the doubt, and let's say that they actually did some work before announcing these things before the Frontier Expo. So that means, well, let's say a half a year, or maybe a couple of months at least. So that would put fleet carriers about two years and about nine months in development, if we give them a benefit of the doubt. But if you're like me and you keep one of the eyebrows constantly up in the air, you may start to think about a couple of things. For example, why was there no footage or even images of fleet carriers during Frontier Expo? You may start to suspect that whoever was responsible for the fleet carriers just simply pulled that concept out of some whatever black hole a few days before that Frontier Expo presentation so that they would have something to present. And you may start to suspect that because of that whim, if you will, the coders, designers, everyone is panicking and don't know what to do with these fleet carriers in the first place. And perhaps because of that super poor planning, fleet carriers are a mess as a concept and will take almost three years to develop, at the very least. And so perhaps that's why developers were so eager to postpone that December update after we, the community, started whining about the poor quality of the September update. Well, the judgment and the worth of the January update as well as the further fleet carrier update whenever that comes out is, well, left up to you, the viewer, to decide. I'm just here uh, doing some hotcakes, if you will. It's all just a, I guess, theory. But it's undisputable that the fleet carriers, once they come out, had been in development for two and a half years. And so I asked developers, was that development time really worth it on that feature that personally I find absolutely pointless. But that aside, well, it's the January update and, well, it's just bleh, yeah? <laughs> well, there you go. Anyways, let me know down below and all that good stuff. Of course, check out the merch store and, you know, good, good stuff down below. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hotcakes. <laughs>